Okay, so here we are uh, at the engine. Um, something I uh, forgot to point out before is we really need to put these into the manifolds, these little fittings, um, before we do any of this assembly, um, and certainly before we install them into the vehicle. Um, so keep all these um, a little bit loose, um, and they simply just slip onto the studs. Now these can be tightened down fully now. Before we fully tighten these, just make sure that they're all, uh, and, and make sure the shafts uh, appear to be uh, in line. Um, Okay, now all the brackets and injectors can be bolted, bolted down firmly. Just for consistency, I like to push the injectors in the forward position. There we go. Okay, so now we come to some of the more um, critical points. Um, and that's setting up the, um, the throttles. Now it's so important that the throttles at this stage you can get as accurately um, balanced as possible. Um, that means trying to ensure that all the throttles at this stage are fully closed. Um. So we'll start by just loosening off the couplings. Okay, so this allows this throttle to move. So again, make sure it's fully closed and we can nip up the, the coupling clamp. Um, again, this rear one, fully closed. And nip up the clamp. Okay, so we can start uh, with the linkage.
Now something I like to do is um, set these up so that the um, we have a left and a right thread here. Um, so the bottom one is in the right hand position. That way we know um, that when we're turning it uh, in this direction that it's shortening the link and set both sides the same. Um, so we've got the right hand thread in the lower position. Is that? Um. Now, the next thing is the spring, and there's a little hole in the side here that feeds through that hole and sits up like this. These are self-aligning bearings, so the shaft can move around like so. Now we need the lock for the spring, and we need one of the short levers. Set that up. There we go. Okay, now the, um, the slightly longer levers um, go on the outside with the, uh, the little raised section um, to the outside. Now this side we can sit flush with the end of the shaft. Just nip it up and out. Um, this is our return spring. And now we can connect the drop link. And this is essentially how our linkage works. Okay, and this lever, move that again. Um, now the next thing, this is a very critical point. Um, I'm just using a little batten. Um, you might find something better, it has to be straight and parallel. And we need to make sure that these two levers are perfectly parallel. So you can see at the moment they, they're not, so we can just Adjust that till they're perfectly parallel. This is very critical. Um, otherwise, you'll end up with one throttle opening slightly faster than the other, and that'll upset the fueling and, and the running of the engine. Um, so, you see, both ways that's sitting perfectly flush on, on the levers now. So, we can nip this lever up. Okay, so these two levers are set now. They shouldn't. Um, they shouldn't be adjusted or, or moved again. Okay, now we have to set our balance side to side um, as best we can. So we'll just loosen these up the moment. So if we tighten the levers down all the way. Now we can see this side's actually A little bit open and the sides fully closed so we need to adjust these now 
Now you can feel when these just with no tension on them. Um, you'll feel if one is one has tension um, or the other has tension, um, they're working against each other. So you can feel when they both just have have no tension on them. So let's lock one of them down. Take as long as you need to to get this right because this is highly important. Now you can see if I'm just moving it gently, you can see this side is moving, but this side is not. You can see there's no movement on this side, but this side is just moving. So that means this, this one is a, uh, a tiny bit long, and we just need to shorten that up just the tiniest amount. Now we're only talking maybe one sixth of a turn. And I'll lock it down again. Now you can just see, if I'm just moving, there's a the tiniest bit of movement on this side. There's a the tiniest bit of movement here. So we've got them, at this stage, uh, very close. Okay, so now that we've got it to the stage with the linkage um, uh, as even as we can um, manually, um, there's only a couple of extra things to do, uh, is connect the main um, throttle actuation lever. So we can um, attach this one here. And there you can see we have um, linkage working correctly. Okay, so now at this stage the engine is actually uh, able to be run. Um, so we need to um, finish connecting. I'll, uh, I'll go along and connect up the injectors. Um, now you can see in this uh, install we're actually using an idle control valve. Um, I always recommend doing that. This is a, a small BMW one of a four-cylinder BMW. Um, uh, pretty much any type of idle control valve can be used. Um, there's lots of different engines. Um, you'll notice this is a slightly different block to the one that comes with my kit. Um, this is just something that the customer had in this car, so uh, we connected to that again. Um, but uh, all, all these sort of systems all work essentially the same. Um, so okay, I'm going to go ahead and connect everything up, um, fuel lines and injectors, and um, uh, we'll be ready to fire it up.